So, Brendan, you've come here today to talk about uh, IBM. Could you just say something about the nature of the business? Sure, Jim. Um, so, firstly, I'm delighted to have been invited along to the university here, here this evening, and I hope we're going to have a bit of a conversation about the company that I work for. Um, when I'm talking this evening, I'm going to cover probably three or four different topics. Mm. One is firstly to introduce the, um, the community here to, to the company that I work for. I think many of us probably know a little bit about IBM, yes. but hopefully I'll share some facts and figures about, um, about the IBM company. You know, it's a large organization. We employ 450,000 people in 170 countries and we turn mm -hmm. over a lot of money and all that mm -hmm. kind of thing, but primarily just to share a, a context for the conversation, talk mm -hmm. about the company. And then in talking to the team here and preparing for this, I'm going to talk a little bit about our transformation. So the reality for our company is, whilst we've been in business now for literally 100 years this year, we've changed quite a lot, especially in the last 15 to 20 years. Mm. And so I'll talk about how we've moved from predominantly a hardware and software company, which is what many people yes. know us yes. for, to today where we are predominantly a business services company that happens to have world-class hardware and software mm. Mm. to deliver, to deliver mm. business solutions. Sure. And yeah. that transition, um, there's a lot of big steps and bold decisions that probably have been taken a along the way, and so I'll share some of the ups and downs uh, of some of those. And then I'm planning to finish and, and share a point of view that we have about building a smarter planet. Mm -hmm. And what this is about really is recognising the fact that technology is really able to do almost anything that we can imagine. Mm. There are more transistors on the planet now than there are grains of rice, and you can embed them in almost anything. Mm. Mm. At the same time, we've got almost a trillion devices that are connected to the internet. Yes. And our point of view are, is if you've got something that is to so totally pervasive and so completely connected, then we must be able to derive more intelligence from that and do things better or the terminology we're using is, is, is do things smarter. Mm. And then, especially as I'm in an academic institution, where, where I'll finish this evening is to share a recent piece of research that we completed from my, my own area, which is marketing. Yes. So in the early part of this year around the world, we interviewed more than 1,700 chief marketing officers to try and understand mm. what is on their mind, what are they thinking about for the next few years, what is their attitude towards technology and social media and, and those sorts of areas. And so I'll just touch on that briefly as I finish my remarks this evening and point people to, to the, the website where they can read mm. more, more mm. about that. IBM's had a major impact on IT today. What do you see as your role in the company? So my job at IBM is I, I'm called the Director of Marketing for Demand Programmes. What this means is that I'm the marketing director for the UK and Ireland, responsible for marketing lead generation. So what I do every day is I, I've got a, a number of teams focused on different parts of the market, or different custom sets or different products. And our job is to stimulate the market to, I, to generate responses that will ultimately turn into mm. business opportunity and eventually into revenue for, for our company. Mm -hmm. So if, you know, when this is r working really well, I benefit from the work of my colleagues who do advertising, PR and market research, etc. Mm. And then we identify the, the market opportunities and then we stimulate that response through sending thought leadership papers, using uh, email marketing, yes. using events, etc. Yes. To, to, to get people to, to identify that they want to engage with us and then and then to engage with, with, with IBM. And so mm. my two key measures of success are how many dollars of pipeline do we generate mm -hmm. and how many dollars of revenue do we ultimately generate? Yeah. Pretty easy, really. That's interesting. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you say it's easy. Well, a uh, final question would be really given the economic climate we, we, we have today and the need for flexibility, what advice would you give to students who wish to embark on a career in business? So first I'd say, come on in, it's good, right? It, it's hard, uh, 25 years later, I, it's still hard, but it's, it's, it's a great game. Mm. It really is a great game. So don't be afraid, come on in. Um, I'd say you've hit on exactly the right thing, Jim, and flexibility, right? You know, the, the jobs that people will 
come in and do today will be probably completely different in the course of, the, the, of their career. My, you know, in, in the last 25 years, my jobs have changed and changed and changed. And every indication is that that will continue to be, be the case. When I'm looking for people who, who we might employ, what am I looking for? I, you know, if they've got experience, I'm looking for common sense things, really. Right? Does this person seem like they're sensible and they know what they're talking about? Ideally, does this person have some demonstration that they can make things happen? So, because, you know, intelligence is great. It's the application of intelligence yes. to make things happen that yes. is valuable yes. and that is hard to do. And the most important thing that I'm always looking for, be it from a, a new graduate coming into the company or a very experienced senior hire, the number one thing I'm always looking for is attitude. Mm. Does this person have the, the hunger, the, the positive attitude to make things happen on a wet Wednesday afternoon mm, in mm, some mm, city mm. in the UK okay, or Ireland. Mm. Because those are the people who can really make things happen and make a difference to companies mm. like, like mine. Mm. So come in with a positive attitude mm, mm. and you know, be prepared to be flexible mm. would be a good start, I'd suggest. Okay. I think that's great. I'm sure there'll be lots of questions related to the competencies required uh, working for IBM later on from members of the audience, but uh, we leave that until later. Okay. Thank you very much for the time being. You're welcome. I look forward okay. to it, Jim. Thank you. Okay.